My name is John Taylor, and we want to take the scariness out of buying a new home. We're going to be joined by Missy from HomeWire Realty, and she's going to dis discuss what we can do to make sure that we can get a great home. Chris is on the road this week, and she is at Key Pieces in Merton, Wisconsin. We're going to learn some home decorating ideas. So before we get started, I just wanted to give a shout out to HomeWire Realty. Missy and her team over at HomeWire Realty are really going to help you get that home of your dreams, get your offer accepted, and get that forever home that you've been looking for. Whether you're looking to have a trusted buyer's agent help you find a home in your neighborhood or build your dream home, Missy and her team can help you. So let's get started by taking the scariness out of buying your new home. How to avoid the nightmare of that haunted house that you may be buying and what are some of the things to look for? So Missy, when we're buying a home and we don't want to get the haunted house, the scary Adams family home, what are some of the things that we should be looking for? Be a good thing to avoid is that scary haunted house. Yeah. Uh, well, let's start with the scariest place, the basement. <laughs> so in the basement, you want to make sure you don't see any seepage coming in, um, cracks in the wall, but we do need to clarify that not all cracks are bad. Um, I do have an example of where it was, was bad. There was step cracking in both corners. It was moved about two inches out. We had to like redo that entire basement, but sometimes those cracks aren't so bad. So I try to point those out when I go uh, on a showing with a buyer. Um, some things could just be settlement. Some things could be the whole wall is moving. Obviously, I'm going to tell them to talk to an expert um, or work on it when they have their home inspection. But there are some really major things we can be looking for when we're just doing the home showing. Um, other things to look for are aging mechanicals. Um, we, I want to do a quick glance at how old the furnace is, the water heater, um, air conditioner. Um, looking for like older pipes in the basement. Some might still have that asbestos wrapping on there. That's if right. you have asbestos in a home, that doesn't mean that you can't buy it. It just means you can't touch it, correct? Right. Asbestos is, a, is an issue when you start moving it around or opening it up or making it cutting airborne, it. cutting it. Yes. Obviously, you want an expert to deal with it at that point. Asbestos dust is bad. What about the cosmetics? What about the salmon bathroom? Oh, those are, come on, that's coming back. Is it? All right. <laughs> that black and white old tile and the teal colors, all coming back. Oh, nice. Anyway, I do ask my buyers, you know, what are you willing to, to deal with? Are you willing to deal with carpet, painting, um, updating a bathroom, updating a kitchen? Some people are not willing to deal with that, so we want to look for a more move-in ready home, but something to, you know, be talking to your buyer's agent about. Um, the other thing I take a glance at is the electrical system. Um, see if it still fuses. Some lenders will not cover that loan. Mm -hmm. So that's something Chris can tell you more about too. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe take a glance under the sinks, make sure there hasn't been any plumbing leaks. Um, the other thing is to walk around the outside with uh, my buyers and look at the age of the roof. Is there any like curling going on? Um, maybe crookedness to a garage. We see that a lot where it's like slanted just mm -hmm. a tiny bit. <laughs> So different things you can look outside as well. I'm by no means a home inspector, but these are just things from my experience that I can kind of point out to a buyer. Maybe keep them from putting an offer in on something that could be a nightmare. Right. If you can do the basics before you have to pay for the inspector, pay for the appraiser, right. get all of those, you know, the earnest money in, it's a good idea to have all those before you get your offer in so you can make sure that you get your offer accepted. So how can HomeWire help with the scary things that do come up? So with HomeWire, our advantage is we do have a lot of resources. My husband and I have the flip side of the business and the investor side of the business. So we have those contractors that can run out for us, do some repairs. Um, if something comes up in the inspection, they can get out there and get us a quote if we need that um, and possibly get it done after the sale, before the sale, if I need to refer a seller to one of our contractors, we have those resources. Um, we also are great negotiators, so we're going to be with that buyer the whole step of the way, help negotiate if there is an issue that comes up during the inspection. 
We need a ninja level negotiator to help <laughs> us get our offer accepted and make sure um, that the work gets done for us. So another advantage of using HomeWire myself and my agents is that we're experienced. We're looking for these issues I mentioned earlier. We're looking for the basement cracks. We're looking for the ugly and the pretty. Um, I'm not going to sell you the fluff. Uh, I don't want you to buy something that you're not going to be happy in. Uh, so in summary, we're with you from beginning to end. Um, we're going to navigate that whole process from finding a lender, the pre-approval, going through homes, um, writing, writing the paperwork, going through inspections, doing the ninja negotiating, and just giving you that personal human touch from the beginning to the end. And you're a buyer's agent and you sell so many homes that you have a lot of, you got a lot of reps out there seeing a lot of different homes. Right. And, and that really is, gives your buyers an advantage. Yes, we have 25 agents in the southeastern Wisconsin area. I also have agents in Tennessee and Minnesota. So thanks for making the scary homes a little less scary and we're gonna see you next week. Thanks, John. Hi, I'm Chris Weniger here from Fairway Independent Mortgage and the Offer Accept That Show. And we are on location today, downtown Merton, at one of my favorite places, Key Pieces. I'm here with owner and designer, Jackie Mel Melanowski. Welcome. I'm glad you guys joined us today. Thank you so much for having us here. I love this place. It's one of my favorite places. <laughs> well, good. Then we're doing our job. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about you, your shop, and your services that you offer. Okay, so we've been at this location for eight years, and we have home decor, gift items. Um, we do interior design, so that is a big element of the store. So we'll go into people's homes and um, do consults, do a profile sheet on them, uh, bring it back. We do a lot of special ordering for people, big artwork, lamps, furniture, pictures, rugs, um, anything you would need for your home. Gotcha. So if you're looking at building a house or remodeling your house, this is the place to be as far as for decorating it and furnishing it. Yes, it is. We have a lot of accessories, um, a lot of different styles from contemporary to farmhouse to modern to industrial. And if I don't have it in the store, I can always order it. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Tell me a little bit about as far as the trends that you're seeing right now. The trends are, are very modern right now. Um, farmhouse is still in. Mm -hmm. um, but it's more, more modern, more sleek furniture, low pieces, low couches, low sectionals, um, low coffee tables. Um, people love to sit around poofs around tables, um, game day with the family, things like that. So we're seeing a lot of more modern furniture being introduced now into the industry. Gotcha. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about as far as the colors that you've been seeing. The colors are, are pretty much neutral. Um, a lot of creams, whites, grays are kind of, they're still there, but they're kind of like drifting out a little Did bit. Did you hear that? The grays are kind of going out a little In, bit. A little <laughs> bit. And um, so we're still sticking with all the creams, the whites, the neutrals. And then the color for 2022 is like an evergreen fog, it's called. So it's like a taupey green, another very neutral color to mm -hmm. work with if you decided you want a color in your walls. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, because that color, you can transition pretty good depending upon the type of uh, accents you put with it right definitely right and even if like you just have one focal point wall like say you want to do evergreen fog on your fireplace wall um, we can make all the other walls neutral just to cream it out with Dover white um, or just another neutral color that you may like and then that's when we'll pop all the accessories to go with it gotcha are you seeing a lot of the dark colors or not so much and you said it's more light well, in a lot of the nautical homes, navy blue is big. Mm -hmm. Navy blue and white um, were really big this year and continue to be on a lot of waterfront properties. So there I tend to see darker colors in there. They're going with some green cabinets now, green cabinetry and kitchens and stuff um, that we've been seeing, which is really unique and different. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be another deeper color that's coming in right now. Blacks are huge. Painting um, dining room walls black. Um, bedrooms black and then accenting with whites and creams and reds you know again depending on what your decor is sure how fun mm -hmm. how fun mm -hmm. so if someone had a room that is just so tired and they wanted a little bit of jazz it up a little bit what are some of the ideas that they could do well like some inexpensive ideas would be you could just jazz it up with a new area rug mm -hmm. um, sometimes we use the floor as artwork 
And so you can put florals in there, you could put, you know, nautical, you could, you could do what, again, what your theme is for the home or, and what location you're at. So you can put it, uh, a new rug, area rug on the floor, you can pop it with new pillows, new throws. Um, again, if you've always tended to be towards the silvers, you could go towards the golds. Golds are really hot, they're coming back. Um, not a lot of people are, are going for it, but it would be an inexpensive way to change it with just some accessory pieces on your fireplace, on the coffee table, um, end tables, or new lamps, just even some new lamps. You can bring color in with that too. Mm -hmm. um, again, the furniture, if you just even wanted to buy one additional piece, because people can't afford to be buying furniture every couple of years with the new trends and everything going on. So I always suggest if you want a little color in your couch, just get something with a weave, a herringbone, something that you can pull a color out of, but yet it's not like you're buying a red couch. Sure. You know, that you're stuck with and then five years you don't like it. And, and it's a big investment. Couches are expensive mm -hmm. right now. Sectionals are huge. People are loving the big sectionals and in, in rooms um, with the big coffee tables. And it's just the open concept. It's, it's all about family time. So it makes sense. Mm -hmm. What I love about it that in essence, you know, you have a wide variety of different rugs that you could pick out order in and then in essence kind of pick it to your choosing. So rugs right. are easy to change in and out such as pillows and throws. Oh my gosh, you have to see the pillows here and all the throws. <laughs> we have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so wonderful. So if anybody was interested as far as for finding more information about seeing your beautiful shop and your services, where's the best place for them to go to? Um, you can go on our website. Our website's just being updated right now for the holiday season. Um, you can go on keypiecesdecor.com um, and we'll give you more information on that or you can call the store and set up a consult to come in with me and talk about your house your areas that you need doing or just even if you have just simple things like you don't know where to place your current pictures mm -hmm. so you can call us set up an appointment come on in and I can come out to your house and then we can come back here and start the process that sounds good that sounds mm -hmm. good so if you're looking for a great day just to kind of get away come on down to Merton and key pieces you have to take a look at their beautiful <laughs> shop you have to walk around a couple different times because I think every time I walk around I see something different that's right, right. We have a lot of little rooms here. Again, it's an historic building. It's 150 years old. Um, there's a lot of little rooms and offshoots, a lot of vignettes, a lot of, um, we like to set up vignettes for people. A lot of people can't visualize when they want to put things together. Like if they have a blue palette, we try to put a lot of blues together just to give them ideas between candlesticks, throws, pillows, chairs. Um, and people seem to love that about our shop. So we're kind of noted for that. We have beautiful foliage people come back mm -hmm. for year after year and so so we have a lot of little accessory pieces to make your home beautiful. And that's what I love. There's so many different things depending upon the theme that you're looking for, the color that you're looking for, and even the texture and the style that you want in certain rooms. So you can find it here. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks so much, Jackie. Thank I really you. appreciate you being on the Offer Accepted show. Yes, thanks for coming. So this is Chris Weniger here from Fairway Independent Mortgage getting you your success story. Come on down to Key Pieces and check out the shop of Jackie's. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Chris, that was a great episode. Key Pieces looks like a wonderful place to visit. And if we're ever in Merton, we're going to stop by. Once again, thanks to HomeWire Realty for being the sponsor of this show. Join Missy and her team if you're ever looking to have a buyer's agent. Once again, thank you. Once again, thanks to HomeWire Realty for sponsoring the show. Missy and her team can... Once again, thank you to HomeWire Realty for sponsoring the show. Missy and her team are there to help you and be part of your winning team to get your offer accepted. We'll see you next week on the Offer Accepted Show.